here at Albright College, which is a four-year private school in its home of the Lions. Albright is historically affiliated with the United Methodist Church, but the faculty and student body encompasses virtually every major religious belief. Albright College is located in a residential neighborhood of Reading, Pennsylvania, which is the city of 80,000 located in the heart of the Northeast, about an hour and a half from Philadelphia, two and a half hours from New York City, and three hours from our nation's capital. Albright's 118-acre campus is located at the base of Mount Penn, and its facilities range from historic 19th century buildings all the the way to a 21st century fitness and wellness center. If you've got some extra time before or after class, come work off some stress at the Shumo Center for Wellness and Fitness. Woo! Albright enrolls over 1,600 students, representing 30 states and 26 countries. Minority and international students make up about 20% of the student body. First thing that comes to my mind uh, about Albright is diversity and how people can get to know each other really well like through classes, through clubs, through like fraternities and sororities. Like I said, like Student Government Association, it's really helpful. If you're interested in applying to Albright, listen up. The college is a selective institution accepting just over half of its applicants for admission. The admission committee focuses principally on curricular rigor and grade point average and not on standardized test scores. For us, the most important thing clearly is high school performance. Uh, we will base the majority of our decision on your uh, what we call high school performance of a student. And that means your, um, your overall grade point average, which the average student has about a 3.2, 3.3 academic GPA. Um, it also means the strength of the curriculum that the student has taken, um, their high school rank, and, and the reputation of the high school. Um, so if your grades are strong, uh, your chances for admissions are, are strong here as well. The tuition costs, including fees plus room and board, is the same for all students at approximately $35,000 per year. 80% of all Bright students are able to take advantage of lower costs through the school's need-based financial aid program plus numerous merit-based scholarships and awards. Well, the, the hip-hop course um, I, I taught for the first time two years ago as a result of my desire to see students, um, I guess, take some ownership of their abilities to, to critically analyze literature and how students see themselves as part of this generation, um, reinforcing or trying to work at debunking some of the stereotypes that um, cross gender lines and racial lines. With 36 majors, 8 minors, and 4 pre-professional programs, Albright students have options to make the most of their future. With average class sizes of about 15 to 20 people, students are assured of individualized attention. Some of Albright's most popular majors include Business Administration, Sociology, Education, Biology, Psychology, Fashion, and History. The college has a historic commitment to interdisciplinary education, meaning that about half of Albright students graduate with double or combined majors, and allowing them to design individualized programs of study that best meet their educational interests and career goals. Brent Hurley, a former student of Albright College, was the first full-time employee of YouTube. He actually helped seal the deal of the $1.65 billion sale of YouTube to Google. Over 100 highly qualified faculty members are employed at Albright College, and with an extremely low student-to-faculty ratio of 13 to 1, they are able to get to know their students on a first-name basis and enhance their learning experience. The faculty at Albright feels like an extended family. Um, perhaps because we're here so much, but I, I think what's, to me, what's so special is they're always here. They're always, their doors are always open, students are always in talking to them. 20 men's and women's Lion athletic teams compete at the NCAA Division III level in the Middle Atlantic Conference, which is considered by many to be the most competitive Division III conference in the country. Albright has eight residence halls for students. All first and second year full-time students not living at home are required to live on campus. Watch out on your birthday because it's a tradition to get thrown in the Sylvan Pond. When it was redesigned, they actually made it deep enough to keep the tradition going. Looking for stuff to do outside of class? There are more than 80 clubs and organizations available to Albright students, including 18 fine and performing arts groups, as well as seven national sororities and fraternities, just to name a few. And I see you have some Greek letters. Can you tell me about Greek life? Greek life is um, rather prominent on campus, I guess. Uh, there's about this 
30% of the student population is in a Greek organization. While it's social, it's also uh, about leadership, and I would say about 99% of the Greeks on campus are also student leaders, either running an organization or heavily involved in their departments. Some unique features of Albright College are its state-of-the-art facilities, which include digital video and audio production labs, a top-notch teleconferencing facility, an optical physics lab complete with lasers, fiber optics, and photo detection technology, and a molecular genetics facility. Ever play ooze ball? Well, if you come to Albright, you'll witness it firsthand. During the springtime, this area gets flooded and students play muddy volleyball right here. So if you're looking for high quality education in a college that features cutting edge facilities and equipment to keep students highly competitive in the new millennium, be sure to check out Albright College today. Thanks for joining us here in Reading, Pennsylvania on our tour of Albright College. I'm Nicole Aaron for University TV. We'll see you real soon.